Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be updating you guys on our carnivorous plants, the tuberous sundews, the plants that go to sleep in summer and come back in winter, and they grow extremely quickly in winter. And this will be our third update, so I cannot wait to start showing you guys how good they look right now. There's quite a few of them that we've seen in the past and they've gotten really big now, and some that are starting to come out of the ground again. So yeah, these plants are really exciting guys. Literally every two weeks, they do something completely different. They look different, they make so much more plants um, coming out the ground. They are truly amazing. They are the carnivorous plant to have when it is winter because these guys grow fast in winter and they grow big. So yeah, first off, if you guys are new here, this channel is all about our carnivorous plants. And if this video has been suggested to you by YouTube, consider subscribing to the channel because it means that YouTube thinks that you like these videos and of course if you watch the rest of this video you see our special plants there those two special plants that I've put aside for you guys to check them out because it looks so good um, if you stick around until then and you enjoy the video you know what why not give a give us a subscribe we want to hit 10,000 by the end of the year and yeah why not you can join us on that journey so enough talking let me show you guys how the plants have changed in the past two weeks and here we are guys, here are all of our plants looking ready to go to sleep for the winter. We have like heaps of little bermanias or sessifolias, I'm not too sure that came from those two there. They came from a subscriber of ours who actually came to the where we are here at my place. Gave me those two plants and they've just kind of gone everywhere. So yeah, Australian natives will do well in Australia, of course. They literally are everywhere. Anyway, here are our tuber sundews. They are either in these tall pots or these little round ones down here. Now, if you guys remember, our plants... Sorry, I just had a mosquito biting me, so I killed it. But uh, over here, you guys can see how much they've grown. These ones, all part of the Peltata complex, if I'm not mistaken. They like... They stick onto things and they grow. Like, they just get long, as you can tell. They stick onto each other, like that, and they just wanna grow everywhere and like just get out there and grab as much food as they possibly can. So, for example, this macrantha over here, that's just growing everywhere, is one of these long growers that have just become insane and they just grow everywhere. But you guys can see, we're still struggling with our aphids. Is very frustrating but i'm too scared to use neem oil because remember what we did last time when we used the neem oil half of our collection died so yeah i need to get i actually need to get some uh, systematic insecticides to get rid of these but at the same time aphids don't really affect our tuber sun juice that much so it's kind of like a should i shouldn't i type of thing especially when the risk is so high with our cannabis plants but yeah anyway this is our Macrantha, makes little starbursts, let's see if I can get that on focus for you. Oh, I keep getting eaten by mosquitoes guys, sorry. Check it out. Little stars, so nice. Next we have Auriculata, which still has not come out. And an Auriculata over here, I don't know why they didn't come out, they are like one of the first plants that usually come out but I guess not this time here we have Guniana just starting to break the ground now some new new tubers coming out there's one there there's another one there and that's why I say if you guys enjoy like this little series that we have going on here seriously just subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on their development every two weeks a new plant will come out the ground or the ones that you guys have seen prior will have become way bigger than what you last saw like the macrantha right here they just grow insanely quick anyway here we have another macrantha it's just a different type try to turn the traps over it's little red ones here more little starburst but it just makes this insane crazy just field of traps like it's the worst nightmare for an insect over here we have Platypoda starting to break the ground there. Check that out. 
And now that's why I say, like, honestly, if, if you guys remember the Kalinsia that we usually have over there, you guys will remember that it also started off like a little butt like that. And now it's huge. So, seriously, guys, don't miss out on the next update video. Make sure you leave a like. And also, uh, leave a like if you're enjoying it and subscribe so that I know that you guys are actually interested in this. Because, you know, I don't want to make stuff that you guys don't want to see. I want to make stuff that you guys want. Next up, we have our granite cola, which we had from the last video that had this very solid little base here. It also has a few aphids growing on it. Like I said, it doesn't really affect the plants too much. But I seriously love the color of it. I can't capture it too well on camera, but it is more like a, a matte green. You know, like the matte black type of color. It's like powdery almost. It's very cool. But you can see this very strong base here. Look at that. Very strong base. And beautiful little traps. More shield shaped than round, like like our Macranthus I was just showing you. But yeah, my favorite thing about them is, is their, their sturdy base and the colors. They look so good. But yeah, they also have a sparser amount of traps. So you see it's trap, space, trap, space, trap, space, trap, and they go in like a circle. Like one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Don't know if you guys understand exactly what I'm trying to say. But here's another one. See? One on the left, one on the right, one in the middle. One on the left, one on the right, one in the middle. Awesome little plant, and you've got one, two, three, four coming up now. So I cannot wait to see them develop a bit more, guys. Over here we have something. The tag is broken. I don't know what it is exactly. And there's a Modesta whose little growth points has died for whatever reason. Should come back. Panconii down here, same thing, nothing as, as of yet. And Erame is this big lovely bush, which you guys can see. It's just insanely huge. And there's a nice big one coming out right there. Look at the size of that one. But yeah, this massive bush, that's all Erame guys. And they also have little starburst type of traps. I really like these traps guys. I just don't like how messy they look. That's the only thing. But otherwise, they're just such healthy, happy growers. It's, it's really great. Back here, we have... What is this one again? Stellanifera. And we have a huge little bulb coming out the ground. Very excited to see that. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure you want to see that too. As I do. So, make sure that you subscribe. Honestly, I keep saying this, but I mean it. I am so excited for this collection to just explode in growth in the next coming weeks, guys, and I really want to share it with you, so that's why I keep saying that. But honestly, look at the size of that little bulb coming out. I cannot wait to see it, honestly. Okay, so next up we have our Andersonianas, just like these, oh no, in the same family as these ones down here, I think at least. Both sides are complex. But yeah, they make little basil flat ones and then they pop up with a little stalk of which this stalk is covered in aphids damn not surprised oh there we go guys they kind of look like the rosetta sundew um what is it called now Intermedia, I think it is. I forgot what it is. It's just a round one that's native to, I think, England. That Darwin studied. I just forgot the name of it. Rotundifolia, that's a... Kind of looks like that. But then obviously it makes a little stalk at the ground. Ooh, something's... Ah, just nothing. Alright, there we go. With those ones. Here we have Menzissia, the robust form. And check that. It ate a crane fly. insane guys and these ones i like them because they just they grow they like to grab like these ones but they grow on each other and i really like that so it's all co like contained to themselves you know they can grow upright but just together so much more neater show you the traps it's also like an upside down bowl type of shape i really like these plants guys but they do look very very similar 
which is why these big ones are like, you know, a very big contrast to what we currently have going on. Back here we have more Macranthas. Same type of deal, upside down bowl shapes. We have uh, Ganianas back here, which will start growing uh, some decent size as they mature. Hukeri here, same thing. And nothing at the back of the Pallidas just yet. But yeah, these guys, if they're all still small like these, just give it some time and then they'll start growing upright like the rest of them. So, really excited for that. Over here we have some Wutakeri, which we got from Richard Davian. Same plant down here. Um, it's the Andersoniana, I think. But over here are baby Wutakeris. And when they start growing up, they honestly, they're beautiful looking plants. I really like how they look. Other than that, we have some new seedlings coming out here. This will be Drosera lunata, unless some other seeds from the other plants came through. That there, that there is, is a weed. That there is a weed. And these are all weeds here. Too much rain, guys. It's the rain comes in from the side. And over here we have, what is this? Murii. I think all alone very cute and we have our basic folia down here tight little upside down traps very very tight they're all contained together you see how with these plants the traps are very very long out they stick very far out these guys they have the traps right near the base of the plant which is I guess where they get the name basic folia from has that little main trap at the bottom then an upright stem with all the traps all close together it's awesome guys and over there obviously not much else going on but aside from our plants there especially that one there that i'm looking forward to and this one here that's starting to come off the ground we do have our two very special ones down there which i will show you guys right now Okay guys, here we have our Drosera rupicola, and if you remember, it was just a flat little plant with some little stolon sticking out, but here you can actually see its growth. These stolons grow out and up and obviously start you know, spreading out like all the other ones that you've just seen, except they obviously have a different shape. They have three plants that come off of each, three or four little leaves that come off of each node. And they're kind of round looking. They kind of look like Drosera prolifera. Very beautiful plant. Okay, you can see how tall they've actually got. It's only been, what is this? Six weeks since they started growing, since we moved them out. Six or eight weeks. We moved them out in March. End of March, actually. And they've grown all of this in that time and they just start growing faster and faster and faster as they get more leaves out they get more energy which means they can grow quicker and faster and obviously they eat a little bit more food but yeah they're just gorgeous plants guys honestly you can see all the little bugs that's captured so far in all the traps all the black little specks that's all food and right there like right in the center of the screen it caught like a moth of some some kind but yeah guys honestly Truly beautiful specimen. And let me show you guys our other one. This is Drosera colina. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how much it has grown since we first saw it. When we first saw this plant, it was a tiny little bulb coming out the ground, like that plant I just showed you guys earlier. Maybe that plant will start looking like this one, so keep that in mind. But in four weeks since we first noticed that, it has created all of this new growth. And it is truly, truly, truly a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. I don't think it's going to make any more leaves after this. Because I don't see any developing in the center. But it may or may not create a flower stalk. And if it does, guess who's going to be harvesting flowers? Uh, seeds from the flowers? Yeah, me, definitely. And we'll be able to take that with us wherever we end up moving to. But truly, a truly, truly beautiful specimen, this plant, cars. 
I absolutely love the way that this plant looks. Kind of looks like looks like a pinguicula of some kind, and it has very small little trichomes close to the ground and sparkles. Look how it sparkles in the light, guys. It's truly beautiful, honestly. It's a plant that I've always wanted to have and I finally have it. Look at that. So guys, please, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and tell me which one of these twos, two plants do you guys prefer? Do you like the colina more or do you like the rupicola more? Let me know in the comments because I'm interested to know. I definitely like the colina way more than the rupicola, but I do like both of them more than I do most of the collection. All the plants like the auriculata and pultatas and all that, they're all very cool. I do like them. I wouldn't get rid of them. But they do look very similar and I guess they just grow so fast that they kind of grow on top of each other and onto everything that they lose their specialness, if that makes sense. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And obviously, if you did like this video, leave a like. It really does help out the channel. And obviously, if you watched till this end, to the end of this video this far, subscribe to the channel because we do a video every single week on our Canovas plants. And currently we're doing tuberous sun juice every second week because they do grow so quickly. But if you do want to see some other type of videos, let me know in the comments below or email me, Instagram me, Facebook me, you know, anything. And you can even ask me what plants that do have for sale within Australia. But yeah, guys, just uh, let me know what you think about the plants. Which ones are your favorite out of all of them? Maybe it's these two. Maybe it's another one. But yeah, let me know. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Anyway, enjoy your day, guys. See ya.